Shalom uvracha mirushalayim ira kodesh. It's a great honor and a great privilege and pleasure for me to speak with people who are interested in studying the centrality of Eretz Yisrael in our Mesora and the Kedusha of Eretz HaKodesh. I believe that it's important to reflect upon the words of Yeshayahu Hanavi, who teaches us, Si'i saviv einayich uri'i kulam nikpitsu ba'olach. Roughly translated, Yeshayahu tells us to raise our eyes and to look all around. Reflect upon what's happening around you. Si'i saviv einayich uri'i. They're all being gathered back to Eretz HaKodesh. They're all coming back to Eretz Yisrael. They're all coming back to Yerushalayim. So what does it mean, Si'i saviv einayich uri? Why do you have to pick up your eyes? What's the emphasis in the pasuk on that expression? And I would like to suggest that what's meant is that it's not something that you will readily see or automatically see. We have a tradition of Ein Ba'al Hanes Makir Beniso. It happens so often that HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings a miracle upon someone. Miraculously, something happens, but they're the last ones in the world to see it. They're the last ones in the world to recognize it. Yeshayahu teaches us if you really want to see what's happening in Eretz Yisrael, pick up your eyes and look carefully and look deeply and reflect upon the new reality. And one can suggest that that's the meaning of the tefillah, which we say, Arvit, Shaharit, Minha, all of the tefillah, Musaf, Ne'ilah, we're always saying this. For many years of my life, I thought that the proper way to translate this is a tefillah from our hearts that we should be alive to be able to see kibbutz goliot. We should be able to experience, to be there. So many generations were hoping and praying, but they didn't see the reality. They didn't see it actualized. We are hoping in our tefillah, v'techazena ineinu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, please give us the opportunity to be alive at the time of the Geula, v'shuvcha l'tzion b'rachamim. I think that's the uh, in simple interpretation of that which we say. However, on an extended level, perhaps we could suggest the following. V'techazena ineinu v'shuvcha l'tzion b'rachamim can mean, Hashem, I know it's going to happen. Yes, there will be this time, and Bezrat Hashem, that's what's happening right now. B'shuv v'cha l'tzion b'rachamim. You know what's happening in Eretz Yisrael? You know what's happening in Yerushalayim? Just walk the streets of Yerushalayim. Walk the streets of Eretz Yisrael. B'shuv v'cha l'tzion b'rachamim. But v'tehazena ineinu. Unfortunately, we're not always in the position to see it. We don't see it sometimes. We, uh, we recognize it to be a very interesting phenomenon. We recognize it to be a wonderful place to be, Eretz Yisrael. We, want, we recognize the fact that this is the, the most flourishing Baruch Hashem Jewish community in the world. But do we see Shuv V'chal So our tefillah every day is, Hashem, please help us see it. V'techezena eneinu. It's happening. Help us recognize the nes. Help us recognize the fact that that which is happening right now is unparalleled in world history. Ki ayin be'ayin yiru, b'shuv Hashem, tzion. I don't know if I'm addressing people who are already in Eretz Yisrael or on the way to Eretz Yisrael, but I look forward to celebrating with you. B'tehazena einenu, b'shuv v'chal, tzion, b'rachamim. Shalom v'rachah.